It is showtime.
Congratulations, Don. Mahalo. Thank you very much. Right now, uh, we'd like to do a nice number using the Ibu with a how that number we call how that word number. Not how fool you If you know the words of the song, everybody sing with me. Ladies and gentlemen. 
and gentlemen, you have just actually seen the three famous implement numbers from the islands of Hawaii. The first one uh, was what we call, actually, let me just pick this one out right here. Everybody repeat after me. Everybody say, Ipu. That's right, Ipu. Sounds sexy, doesn't it? Ipu. It even looks sexy, it looks like a woman. <laughs> Ipo, of course, is just a hollowed out cord. And in the olden days, the Hawaiians used to fill this up with water and or food to travel from one village to the other. However, they would realize that when it's uh, empty, it actually makes a wonderful sound. Listen. Ah, so they said, you know what? Let's make that to our little implement numbers for our, for our shows. And the second one, well, the last one, they took it, I guess, is what we call the Pu'ili sticks. Repeat after me, say Pu'ili. Pu'ili Pu sticks. They're just actually bamboos that they kind of like cut down the middle, so it makes a wonderful sound whenever you would like hit them together. And of course, if you're bad, the little KDs right here, if they're bad, we're gonna whack them in the Okole. Everybody say Okole. <laughs> we're gonna whack them in the Okole, we're using the Pu'ili sticks. And of course, last, ladies and gentlemen, this particular one, is what we call, everybody repeat after me, Uli Uli. That's right. It's just after it looks like a feathered maracas. It makes a wonderful sound. And these are real feathers, ladies and gentlemen. Real feathers, not fake. And in the olden days, actually, there was one rare bird. This bird is all black. He, he was all black except for one colored feather. And they would pick out the one colored feather to make the Uli Uli. Imagine how many birds they have to kill or pick out anyway just to make this. And of course, these days, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very, very rare bird that we also use for our Uli Ulis, and that bird is called Purdue. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, you know what? I want to ask you guys, who's from New York City? Ah, oh, there you go. A few people out there. Um, who's been to New York City? Yeah, almost everyone, right? Almost, that's right. As you well know, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you can tell from the way I talk. I'm a New Yorker now, that's right. I grew up in New York City, and you know what? Although Hula started in Hawaii, Swing started in New York City. I would like to do a little number using that. Here we go with a number we call Tropical Swing. Oh yeah, Woo, those lovely 
I'm standing here and I'm going to do a little acoustic number, uh, you could say unplugged, I guess. And um, first of all, I want everybody, you know, I'm going to be teaching a few, a couple of Hawaiian words, of course, as you all know. Aloha means hello. At the same time, it also means goodbye. So in case you're sitting with someone that you don't really care too much about, tell him or her aloha and get lost, right? And of course, mahalo means, what was that again? Thank you. Thank you. And ohana means, did I say ohana? And teach you that, right? Ohana, everybody repeat after me, say ohana. Ohana means family. That's right. So whenever you guys come to our show, you are considered my ohana, my family. That's right. And um, here's another word that I want everybody to actually learn as well. I want you guys to turn to the person next to you, <laughs> give him or her a big smile, and say, eh, bubuli. <laughs> I better not tell you what it means, I guess, until I'm clear out of Pennsylvania and back in New York. <laughs> uh, what does it mean? I'm not going to tell you. Well, actually, you just call the person next to you the insane person, really. <laughs> you know what? Okay, here's another word that I actually want you to learn. Turn to the opposite sex. How's that? Okay, an opposite sex next to you. And say, Kuhu Ipo. That's right, Kuhu Ipo. You know what Kuhu Ipo means, right? It means sweetheart. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I would like to do a number right now. It's called I'll Weave the Stars to Make You Love Me, Kuhu Ipo. And Kuhu Ipo meaning sweetheart. Featuring lovely Annalyn.
like it, guys? Yeah. yeah. Aloha, everyone. Aloha. Oh, this is a great crowd. My name is Anna Lu, and the next song I'm going to sing to you is Ko'ule Ko'ipo. That means sweet lay, sweetheart. I'll stand behind here because uh, I'm getting a lot of feedback. I'm uh, hot like that. <laughs>
ladies and gentlemen, it's come that time of the evening where we have to say goodbye to everyone. And but before we go, you know, we're going to be here for the next, uh, I guess, seven more days or so. We're going to be here up until next Monday. And um, I would like, first of all, to thank all of you. Give yourselves a nice round of applause for being such a great audience. You guys were great. Come on. Give yourselves a nice round of applause for that. You guys were wonderful. But before we go, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce everybody who's been working so hard this evening for you guys. And you know what? They're going to continue working hard up until Monday. So if you ain't got no job, nothing to do, come on over here, Knobles. You know, <laughs> uh, show time's at the, what, 1.30? 6 and what? 7? 8.30. Okay, I, I'll get it someday. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to you all the way who's hiding back there. Come on up front, the very lovely and luscious Kalina! She's a bubbly girl. I mean, everybody loves her. <laughs> Woo! And of course, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to you our twins, the twin sisters of the group, lovely Nohea Lani and lovely Mali and Nalo. Look more, guys. Come on, take them out. Gorgeous! Oh, I'm in love. <laughs> and of course, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to you the lady all the way in the very far left. I mean, ladies like wonderful in every way. Silhouette girl, that's what we call her. The very, very lovely. And also, by the way, she's also the, sorry, she's also the choreographer. She choreographed a couple of numbers for our second show. So we have show times and we have different numbers, you know, throughout the day for three shows. I would like to introduce to you lovely Ellie. Gorgeous. <laughs> and of course, lovely, you know, come on over here. Come on, come on. I would like to introduce this lovely young. First of all, I want you to take off your headdress real quick. Let's take it off. Okay. Any of you guys recognize this face? Look closely. No, for real. Nobody? You guys don't watch TV, do you? Dogs, soap, dogs. She's the dog girl. On TV, she's done uh, Dove Soap commercials, American Express, MasterCard, and also whoever w watches uh, soap opera, One Life to Live in As the World Turns. At the same time, she's done a video for MTV Body, Body Rocks, and she just actually went for a commercial for McDonald's a couple of days ago. I would like to introduce you, ladies and gentlemen, on vocals as well, and she's got a great voice, my lovely cousin, Anna Lou. Let's give her a natural applause. And of course, it's a family, okay, you know that, right? And last but not very least, this lovely young lady right here in the middle. By the way, I want to ask you a question. Did you guys like the costumes in here this evening? How'd you like the costumes? Come on! Let's hear it! You know what? The sacrifices, you just don't know. I mean, while you guys are snoring at 4 o'clock in the morning, we're up, like, making costumes, making our music, and, you know, just for all you guys, because we love to bring a lot of aloha to you. And, of course, this lady made all of the costumes here, and, of course, she has to make the sets for everyone by hand. That's right. And she's also the leader of our group. That's right. My boss is a woman. And, of course, she's my lovely wife, lovely Edith Lani. <laughs> I would like to thank all of you for coming. I don't want to be a name dropper. Oh, but wait a minute, wait a minute. I would like to introduce, where's the, come on over here. My, my light technician and stage manager, actually. He's hiding back there, he's kind of like shy. And uh, wonder, wonderful person, I mean, you know, he's like running the whole stage here at Knobles. I would like for you guys to like, give a nice round of applause for Adrian. Come on, stick your head out here, please. Let's give a nice round of applause for Adrian, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Very shy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming. Hope to see you here tomorrow and for the rest of the week. From all of us to all of you, peace, love, and let me hear it.